3D Ryzen is here in Potomac, Maryland at the Bola School where we just watched the IAC Championship, which the Bola School won by a score of 9-5 to over St. Stephen, St. Agnes out of Virginia. Uh, we're talking to head coach Jeff Balestri. Uh, coach, congratulations on this big win. I know it means a lot to you. Uh, just tell us what was going right tonight for you guys out there. Well, we were playing hard. Uh, we didn't play a very clean game. There's a lot of ground balls, a lot of scrums. Uh, we started to play better in the second half, starting with our face-off guy, Joseph Stein. Once he gets us the ball, our attack can really do some damage to opposing defenses. Uh, just talk about the emotion of this game and getting prepared for it and, and I guess managing that emotion once things got going on the sideline. Well, you know, Bola School has never won the IEC championship, so there's a lot of uh, doubt in some kids' heads, but this team didn't have any doubt. From the beginning of the year, this was the goal to win the IEC championship. They do everything they had to to win the game. Uh, talk about your attack unit. Obviously, tonight they were big. I think they scored nine goals between the three of them. Um, you know, talk about those players specifically and what they've meant to you. Well, Steve Sullenberger scored a great goal there at the end to make sure to seal the, the vic victory. Uh, he had three goals. Nikki Pekovic had three. Uh, another great shooter, great player. But uh, Alex Trippi had three goals and three assists and took uh, many uh, double teams, triple teams, and found the open guy. I mean, it was a great team effort, but that attack is special. And, you know, looking across the field, you have athleticism. Uh, we were just talking to one of your players there in the middle of the field. Um, you know, defensively and in the middle of the field on the faceoffs, you guys have athletes that can run, that's for sure it looks. We do. We have athletes in every position. Our defense is, uh, you know, they, they win their matchups. We, 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 we will slide, but we try not to. We want to win our matchups. And our D-middies do a good job of preventing midfielders from taking advantage of our short sticks. It seems that you guys are at your best maybe when you're playing an up-and-down-the-field style of game. Uh, is that what's helped you this year get out to such, you know, you've had an incredible record, um, pretty dominant all year long. Is that what sort of been the key to you guys this year? Yeah, we want to get up and down. We want to push the pace uh, as fast as we can to score as many goals as possible because we have a great goalie and a great faceoff guy. So if we do make a mistake, we're going to get the ball back. So we do want to push, uh, push the pace up a little bit to try to uh, score goals in transition. You played Division One lacrosse back in the day at Navy just a few years ago. And uh, just talk about, I guess, your, your philosophy to developing players here. Because obviously we can see that some of them have taken leaps over the course of their career. Well, you got to believe in your teammate. You know? We work as a team. We work as a unit. Uh, everything's about the team. It's not about yourself. It's about the team. And if you believe in the team, good things are going to happen. Uh, I guess just talk about, look, look back at what the seniors have accomplished and what they mean to you to go out on top like this. No, it's great. That, you know, like I said, it, it's our goal, it was our goal. I think we ended up with 20-some wins, two losses. Uh, on our two losses, I think we won 20 games in a row. Uh, I guess some of the best competition in the country. Uh, we beat McDonough School, beat Boys Latin, uh, Landon, Georgetown Prep, St. Stevens twice. I mean, and those teams are ranked in the top 25 in the nation. So uh, I'm really proud of our guys. I know you're proud of something else right now, too, your son, Kyler. Uh, as an attackman at Brown, and they've had a decent year so far. They will make it. Uh, they'll be in the Final Four this weekend coming up next weekend at Memorial Day uh, in Philadelphia. Just talk about, you know, managing being a dad, uh, being a coach, and the excitement that you've had this year as a family. Well, as an a athletically, it's been the greatest spring of my life. Uh, you know, our lacrosse team has been successful here at Bullis, and Brown has had its best season since 1994. And my son's having a fabulous year, and I'm really proud of him, Brown, and now it's Brown's turn uh, because I just won my championship. Now it's up to them. Well, Coach, congrats, and thanks for your time here. All right, thank you.